Today in the news, Intel takes a step back, we got a new OnePlus coming, and a weird sketch. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Over the last few days, Intel released their 10th generation lineup of CPUs. They introduced Ice Lake a few days ago, which is the first time we have mass production of their 10 nanometer CPUs. Uh, hey, Future Snows here. While I was editing, I was trying to find some Ice Lake footage and uh, I came across this. I didn't realize what he said, just listen. Chuck to come out and show us Ike Lace in action. Yeah, anyways, I just thought it was funny. Back to the video. In case you didn't know, back in 2018, they released some 10 nanometer chips under the Canon Lake moniker, but it was at a really low volume and super low performance. Anyways, the 10th generation Ice Lake made its first appearance and most of the outlets covering it had mixed responses. The 10 nanometer chips IPC was great, but the clocks were pretty low, making them not much faster than the 8th gen family. So what does Intel do? Why not just go back to 14 nanometers and release more of those? And here we are with Intel adding eight newish 14 nanometer plus 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 plus. plus Stop plus, that! Plus, That's plus. enough. 14 nanometer Comet Lake processors to the same 10th gen lineup as Ice Lake. If you want a breakdown on how confusing Intel's naming scheme is for this generation and how absurd this family is, click up here for a Hardware Canucks video on it. Personally, I think Intel is just trying to do what it can without losing face. Don't get me wrong, the naming scheme is absolutely a problem and will lead to a lot of confusion for the customers. But if we just look at the lineup itself, here's where Intel stands. First, their Ice Lake chips have great IPC, but they can't clock high enough to make a difference. Secondly, they consume way too much power compared to the 14 nanometer chips. I mean, you can get six cores and 12 threads at much higher clocks for almost half the power consumption. And three, it looks like Intel might be trying to force Ice Lake onto us by only allowing Gen 11 graphics for their Ice Lake chips. Comet Lake only gets Intel's UHD, which means that new features like integer scaling and the added performance in Gen 11 is locked into Ice Lake. Now there might be other reasons for that, like Gen 11 was built onto 10 nanometers and can't get ported over, but still, Intel should have thought about that. Plus, Ice Lake also gets UHD graphics, so why was that design ported over? Anyways, it looks like Intel has serious issues at 10 nanometers and I now clearly understand why we won't see them in our desktops until 2022. And even then, I don't think a roadmap was showing Ice Lake in 2022. Moving on, we talked about it about a year ago, but it looks like it's finally getting a little more real. OnePlus is finally going to launch their TVs. They said it would be coming next month, but honestly, that's pretty much all the details we got besides this picture of what looks like the TV's base. It's not going to get released everywhere though. India will be first next month, and they are working at launching it into other parts of the world as soon as they establish partnerships with most of the local and regional content providers. This gives me a hint at what to expect with the whole experience OnePlus wants to provide. I mean, if it launches in India, it's likely that a whole section of the experience will be dedicated to Indian TV. As for the rest of the world, we can expect a tailored software experience for each area. I don't think OnePlus plans on doing something special with the hardware, like high refresh rate for gaming, ultra low response times, or higher than 4K resolutions. At least, we'll get to know what's up pretty soon. Next up in console news, we have a really weird patent coming from Sony. Let's Go Digital found this sketch of what looks like some PlayStation hardware. It was applied for in May and was registered in August 13th of this year. Some outlets think that this could be the PS5's design thanks to the V-shape on top, which represents five in Roman numerals, but I highly doubt Sony would release something this ugly, I guess? Others speculate that this could be the design for the dev kit. I'm kind of perplexed by the whole design though. It looks like it's focused on tons of cooling with all the vents it has, and it probably needs to be given its 8-core Zen 2 based processor with custom Navi based graphics. But where would the fans go? Where is it blowing from? What is the intake and the exhaust? What are those fins for? At least it looks like it has a lot of USB ports, so nice I guess. I'm going to stop 
looking at this nightmare of a thing because it's giving me a bit of an airflow headache. What do you guys think about the design? Let me know down below. I guess it's different. I'll just say it's different, not ugly. And lastly, circling back to Intel, it looks like they have another i9-9900 coming for the desktop. That's five 9900 SKUs on the 9th gen. There's an unlocked basic 9900K, the locked and slightly more efficient 9900, there's the graphics less 9900KF, and the upcoming all-core at 5GHz 9900KS. And now we have the 9900T. It's a super low power 9900 with a base clock of 2.1GHz and a boost of 4.4. Given how Intel's TDP is a bit of a mess, I don't know how accurate the 35 watt TDP is, but I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. What is a lot less impressive is the MSRP of $439 US. Jeez, Intel, will you never give up on pricing? I mean, come on. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it for the news today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you got any comments or questions, put them down below. Leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you eat light bulbs, which uh, I've actually done once. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> it was a Christmas light bulb. I, I would give you more details, but I don't think it's very interesting. I just, I was a, I was a kid, okay? I was a stupid kid.